Hey friends, hope you guys are excited for your long weekend. I just wanna take you through um, your quiz for this morning and give you some tips for success because I would like everyone to get a really good grade on this. So um, make sure you do this quiz as soon as possible because of course it is going to be graded. Remember that all of your assignments for the week are due on Monday. Now, um, last week I gave you guys a lot of extra time to get in late assignments. I will not do that again this week, okay? So these assignments are due on Monday and then late assignments are going to get points off if you submit them late. For the quiz, you're going to go to the Friday folder in our math course, click on Google Form Decimal Quiz, and this is um, like your regular work that you have for today. So you have your today's number slides, these are Google slides, you have um, an instructional book about comparing hundreds and thousandths, so that's a new skill. Your quiz does not get into comparing decimals. Um, this is just the skills that we've worked on so far this year. Okay, now once it opens this up, it will show the quiz in this window, but I always like to pop these out to a new window. I just think that's easier. And you need to enter in your email address. Do not skip any questions, because this is part, partly how I know who whose quiz is who. Marjorie. Lynn. Okay. All right. So for the first few questions, we're taking our word form and just putting it in decimal form. Select the decimal form of one tenth. So you need to look at these and select the one that you think represents one tenth. Select the decimal form of one hundredth. select the decimal form of five tenths. Okay, now I will tell you, I'm not gonna tell you the right answer, but I will tell you one that is definitely wrong. And this is a mistake I'm seeing kids make sometimes. Um, some kids are getting confused and they're putting this as the decimal form, I think maybe because they're thinking like the five is the numerator and the tenth is the denominator. So in decimal form, they want to see the five and the 10 in there. But remember that in decimal form, the place value word is not represented with a digit. Let me say that again. The place value word, tenths, is not represented with a digit. So you won't see the number 10 in decimal form. You're going to have a 5 in the tenths place. And if you're confused about that, you do need to go back and watch my videos about decimals. Okay, now I'm just clicking random answers here. Do not select my answers thinking that they are correct. I'm clicking random answers just because otherwise it won't let me go on to the next question. Okay, next question. Select the fraction form of two tenths. Boys and girls, some of you are not in the habit of reading directions carefully just because we haven't been in school together and you don't have a teacher here telling you, read the directions, read the directions. Focus on what it's telling you to do. Select the fraction form of two tenths. So these are all fractions. We have a numerator and we have a denominator. Numerator is the top number. Denominator is the bottom number. You need to choose the one that represents two tenths. That should be easy. I'm just choosing random answers. I am not choosing the right answers or the wrong answers. I'm choosing random answers, so don't copy my answers. Okay, change to fraction form. Now this is something where if you don't watch my video, you may very well get it wrong. Fraction form, when you are typing on a computer, we are going to type numerator fraction bar, which is the slash key, denominator. Let me show that to you again. Numerator, top number. Fraction bar, which is the slash key, denominator. Numerator, fraction bar, which is the slash key, denominator. Numerator, 
fraction bar, which is the slash key denominator. Okay, for these, reading the directions carefully, what is 26 hundredths in decimal form? Now remember, in decimal form, the place value word is not represented with a digit. You will not see a 100 in your decimal form. You have, you're going to have 26 in the tenths and hundredths place. Two groups of tenths. Ugh, I'm not saying that right. You're going to have 26 in the tenths and hundredths place. Two groups of tenths, that's your 20, and six groups of hundredths. And then this hundredths is your place value word. So if it helps you, get out that um, place value chart and see if that can help you. I'm choosing random answers here. Do not copy my answers. What is 74 hundredths in decimal form? I just chose random answers for those. Okay. What is 34 hundredths in word form? Well... Remember in my very first video, I told you, I'm going to really emphasize when I say these place value words, hundredths, hundredths. I'm trying to really emphasize that THS at the end that shows us that it's a portion of 100 or a part of 100. So choose the one that you think correctly shows 34 hundredths. All right, select the decimal form of each word form. I'm just choosing random answers here. Don't copy my answers. What is 63 hundredths in decimal form? Choose the one you think is right. What is four tenths in decimal form? Choose the one you think shows four tenths. And that's it. Now. It's going to send you a copy of your responses. So you will have that um, evidence for yourself that you did it and it will show the answers that you selected. It's going to send a copy of your responses to me to grade. Oh, it wants to verify that I am not a robot. So I'm going to select all images that have bicycles, okay. And I'm going to view score. I probably didn't do very well because I was just selecting random answers. Yeah, I got three out of 16. All right, so I hope this helps. You guys let me know if you have any questions. Work really hard because fifth grade math is not easy. But like I always say, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be worth it. You guys have an awesome day.